Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the best online course platform. In particular, I'm going to be covering the best platform to create online courses as an instructor. So if this is interesting to you, let's dive in. So over here, I just wanted to cover this before I dive into the three that I actually recommend. I'm going to have links in the description and I really just wanted to say, whatever you do, don't use Udemy here because Udemy is going to take so much of your profit from any sales that you make on your course. So if you were to sell a course right here, you normally have it priced at $189.99 and they have it on sale for $10.99. At the most, you're probably going to get 50% of the sale if it happens to sell on their platform because they take at least 50% of the cut. Sometimes you only get 25% when the affiliate recommends it or refers people to your course. So I just want you to be aware of that. I would never recommend someone to make courses on Udemy unless you're just going to be giving away free content and maybe that's a good option for you. But you also can't even build an email list through them and they're very restrictive. So I would just stay away from Udemy altogether. Now I've also used other things like Lifter LMS and LearnDash. They're both WordPress related tools that you can use. Now I'm a WordPress guy, but at the same time, I really felt like Lifter LMS was a little on the clunky side at times and can be a little bit confusing. And I really just felt like it wasn't worth the amount of money that they charge, even though it was somewhat affordable. I just think there's better options out there that can make your site look nice and have a lot less upkeep. And for the average person, it's probably very easy to use something that is already set up and looking nice. So I'm going to get into the other three here that I think are a little bit more interesting options. So over here we have Teachable and Teachable has different plans. They have monthly plans starting at $39 and then they have the annual plans which knock off some of that cost because you're purchasing an annual plan up front. Now they also do have a free option if we click compare all plans you can see that they have this free option here as well. Now the thing about the free option is it's going to have a 10% fee then you're going to also have the processing fees and then it's going to also do one dollar on top of that. So it's going to be roughly 14-15% in terms of the actual fee that comes off here it's a whole lot better than Udemy in terms of the fee for the structure if you're going to use it for free courses but there are also other fees down here so this is a back office fee for two percent if you want to have that it's optional any chargeback fee is here as well international PayPal sales have a higher fee so there's things to consider on here but again it's a lot better than you're going to get with Udemy or something like that so there is a bit of a drawback. I feel like their platform is a little bit on the clunky side when it comes to certain aspects. In particular, I think it's kind of hard for students that are enrolled in multiple courses to find your course very easily. I just don't feel like it's very user friendly, at least not when you compare it to some of the other platforms out there. So the next one I'm going to go over here real quick is Thinkific. And Thinkific is a similar option. It's a slightly higher priced option. So you can see it's $49 a month. Then if you do annual, it goes down to $39. So it's a little bit more. But here you have a better fee structure with them. And you also can have unlimited courses and students. You can email students, which is a big thing. You can do affiliate reporting and you can have a custom domain as well. There's a few more options with their plans, in my opinion, that would matter to the instructors. But they're very similar and comparable options when you compare Thinkific and Teachable. Now something I didn't like as an instructor with Thinkific is I actually created a few courses on their platform and I remember having all of these images that wouldn't display right. There was always issues with the images. I actually reached out to their support staff and asked them to try to help me and even though I created images that were the exact pixel size it said and had help from support, they still didn't look right on a phone, tablet, and a computer. It just always looked wrong, and it always was cut off. Things were cut off in the images, and it really just bothered me that it couldn't just get a simple course image right. So the one that I ended up going with and what I think is the best option is Podia, and I'll have a link in the description if you're interested. But this one has a few different options. So it says right here, get the power of five plus tools for the price of one. And this is going to be more in line like Kajabi or something like that at a fraction of the price. So Kajabi is over $100 for the cheapest plan. And 
on here you have plans as low as $39 a month. So it's in the same range as Thinkific and Teachable. But with this platform, you're not going to have something clunky. You're going to have something that actually looks very nice. And the layout that comes out of the box is similar to this layout that they have here. So you're going to have your own storefront. You can have online courses, digital downloads, email marketing, messaging. Right here is a big one, zero transaction fees. And that's going to add up if you start selling courses or if you start selling in a lot of volume, that really adds up. Here it has unlimited everything, seven days a week support, and hassle-free migrations. So they also have a higher end plan here that has memberships, a blog, embedded checkout, affiliate marketing, and third party code. And right here you can also start a 14 day free trial with no credit card required. So that's what I recommend you do is try this one out and do it with the free trial. Again, a link below in the description if you wanna try it and then see how it goes. I really think this is gonna give you the most bang for your buck in terms of what you can do. And why I think that's important is, let's say you start off with creating some online courses and you wanna go into the direction where you have your own storefront and you have digital downloads. Those options are available all within the same platform that you're already paying for at that point for $39 a month. So it's a no brainer to be able to easily go from one sector to another when you're making moves within your own course platform here. So this is part of why I think this is the best online course platform out there. And I really hope that you like this quick video where I covered a few of these. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments and let me know what you think about all these. Is there one that you like more than another? And also, if you have other questions, feel free to reach out to their support on each of these websites. I'm sure they can help you more and answer some of your questions. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.